All right, guys, welcome back to part three of our playthrough here of Black Mesa. Uh, as the title, as the name suggests, there we are jumping back into on a rail. We finished up last time out um, riding our little train. Uh, right about here. So um, let's go see if we can't uh, find some stuff going on. Very eerie. I don't think there's anything going on over here though, is there? There's a ladder down. Can I go down? What's down here? There is some sneaky, sneaky secrets. Secrets in the water. Some uh, interesting reflections going on. But, uh, yeah, this game. I agree with Aaron's comment the other day. It's it's hard to imagine. I, it's hard to believe sometimes that this is like Source Engine, albeit a modded version of it. But um, the game just looks absolutely amazing. Why did it kick me off? <laughs> Though that's not cool. Maybe I'm pressing the wrong button. We must investigate everything. Can I take the barrels with me? Maybe we could uh, make use of the barrels a bit, a little bit later on. If there's some of those, um, did I just see a? What's that up there? Is that a? Was that a zombie? Is that like a half-eaten zombie crawling around up the top there? Do you know what? I think it is. How do you get up there? What's the point? How do you get down? Uh oh. Ducks and dive, duck, dodge, dip, dive, and dodge. The three D's of dodgeball. I'm even doing it in real life as well. <laughs> I can't get through there. Um, I'm guessing I can't change the points, but can I go this way? Is there anything over in this direction? There is. Hey, Aaron, what's going on, buddy? Oh, he just done me. Take that. Uh, literally just started, Aaron, so you've literally missed like a couple of seconds. That's it. You don't miss much at all. Shoot the points. I never thought about that, too. That looks like a, a road to nowhere, to be fair. Hope you're well there, Aaron. Welcome along. Yeah, I don't think we're going to go that way. I think all them head crabs are dead. I think they're all electrified. Oh, these ones aren't they? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. Very well indeed. I guess gotta go over there and do the manual override. Man. There's some creepy sounds down here. What am I actually plugging this into? Just swapping the point over, I guess? Or I could just like try and shoot it, you know. It's a thing, right? Okay. 
So, that does that, that does that, and I guess it's going to open the door. No? Oh, i got to stop doing that. My, my mouse is too close to my keyboard. Um... What am I missing? Playing through the beginning because it sounds and looks so good. What was the purpose of that then? I guess I can go back down here now. It's not like electrified, right? I love the way the reflection there is with that with the door open so I'm not sure why I did that unless this power's back over here somewhere Power something over here. Hmm. I'm not sure. Seems been said about shooting the points. Um, I think this is the point control thing, right? Oh, wait a minute, there's a lever here. Can't press it. Zombie's still crawling around. You you want me to praise the airboat? I I, I was unprepared for this, Aaron. <laughs> I was I was totally unprepared. Give me a sec. <laughs> So just, just, just take a quick moment, a moment, uh, take a quick moment, a moment. That's some good, that's some good English right there. That's some very good English. Uh, can I do this? Oh, you've got me all flustered, Aaron. You got me all flustered. <laughs> Okay, so we all need to take a quick moment here just to appreciate this in all its glory. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm making excuses now. Okay, everybody, let's let's take a moment and let let's praise. Dear Almighty Airboat, please give us the strength to continue through this game 
and complete it. Please help us to get through to Zen and appreciate the beautiful artwork and fantastic sounds that that area of the game has to offer. We ask this in your name, the Holy Airboat, who is the master of all things Half-Life 2, Airboat. Gun's getting impatient here. He's uh, he's wafting his gun around. So uh, there we go. We praise the airboat. <laughs> oh jeez, what has my life come to? All right, let's go. So, what is it I need to do here? Can I take this with me? Can I switch the points? I didn't see anywhere to switch. Like, Team Spend suggested maybe we could uh, shoot a point somewhere. Oh, I've got to lower this, right? Okay, that's locked in place now, so we can't do anything with this. Now I do have the strength to prog progress through the game, Aaron, indeed. So I've got to get in there. So turn that back on. So how do I get into here? I didn't see the elevator. I didn't see the ladder. What the freaking hell was that? What? What just happened? What actually just happened? I have no idea what happened. Something went kaboom. Also, I didn't like inadvertently shoot something. That generally was one of the. Uh, I call them pugs, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> he just like screwed all his, him and all his mates. Good job. All right, so. Man, I've burnt through this AR ammo, haven't I? So, what's the other direction? Oh. Wow, okay. Now I kind of feel a bit dumb. Okay. I'm not sure that, that looks that looks weird. Just wanna add. Well, there's more, we can go down further. Just say that's probably uh, Oh, a zombie. Oh, what? Well, zombie. Zombie got... Zo <laughs> zombie got wrecked. I don't really think there's anything down here. 
Might have if I turn my flashlight on though. I keep forgetting there's flashlight in this game. <laughs> the pizza is a lie. Now look, I can deal with the cake being a lie, but the pizza the pizza can never be a lie. I'm not accepting that. Sorry. I refuse to believe the pizza is a lie. Alright, onwards we go. The pizza can never be a lie. Oh my dear god. Okay. Um. Holy bejeebus. Where is that turret? That turret's down there. Okay. Um. Alright, we're safe here though for now, right? Good. I mean, I may be on a diet and like slimming and stuff this year, but never, ever, ever tell me pizza is a lie. I don't think I could go on. I don't think I could survive if pizza was a lie. Pizza is my all time number one. Bestie, when it comes to food. Oh, that was dumb. Go down there. There we go. We got through that pretty unscathed. I'm happy to report. Oh. The Black Mesa pizza is not a lie, Team Spence says. Now I'm excited. I think we're dragging a tour along with us. Just drag it along the tracks. It's fine. What's the worst that could happen? Okay. This isn't good. Where's that turret? Where is the turret? It's there. Dumb. I try to throw it like I would throw a portal turret. Clearly doesn't work. What's also crawling there? Right, onwards we go. No, 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 no! Get off! Get off! Get off! You dumbass! Did I just kill them guys though? Nope. Alright. They clearly don't want to uh need to go any further. Freeman. 
It was somebody who's got a grudge against Gordon, or they, they were quick to graffiti the walls. Against Gordon. Jeez. <laughs> it was very hard. Who'd have thunk it? I think more than anything, I love it when like, those um, soldiers the other night were hidden in the... Um, we had the soldiers who were hiding in the boxes waiting for me. I thought that was class. I think we've actually cleared out things, right? Oh, jeez. You got yourself killed, buddy. Throw you a surprise party. Better clear your dance card, Slick. Oh, I have cleared my dance card. You coming with me? Don't worry, sir. I'll keep you covered. Thank you. Are we good to go? Who was talking there? Well, he didn't last too long. Sorry, Doc. Yeah, come on, out my way. Thank you. I want to stick Who's he talking to? All right. Did we look in here? I don't think we looked in here. I don't remember coming in here and seeing all the uh, body parts all flung everywhere. Let them battle that out for a minute. Still alive. He lives. Is the way I gotta go? Maybe. Oh, so we attacks. Did he just try to grenade it himself? I think he did. Did I lose him? Is he dead? I think he might be dead. Just a hunch I have. Don't know where his body is. But, uh, yeah, he's dead. Alright. Got mounted on the 50 cal. Jeez, that would have been interesting. That's the way it came from. Uh, I guess we need to go and have a look up, but I guess we need to go through that other area. Also, open the access to the silo. Oh man. Man. Things don't want to uh, give up, do they? Jeez. Do the um, does this lead like downstairs to the same place that that other door would have led to? Via these horrible things. Yep. 
Yeah, I guess it does. Alright. So, we've got to go through the silo. Which is fine. Don't think we can ride one of these, though. It's none of them powered, so... Rocket I've got to launch. I can't remember exactly the bits and pieces from the original, but I know I'm sure they said something about I was launching a rocket last time out. British and Bot Fire Escapes, you know. Yeah, I guess that's what I'm doing right here, right? I'm launching this rocket that the uh, military have supposedly stopped to get the satellites in the air, I think, if I remember right. Not really sure, though, playing with firearms is the best thing to do. Yo, Mika, what's going on, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. It's up there somewhere. Let's throw some explosives. I mean, come on, what's, what's the worst that can happen? Man, Gordon's aim is terrible. Just putting that out there. It's even worse than my aim. Bought the new phone? Okay. It's awesome, Mika. Should I ride? Should I bring that to the top? I guess not. Oh shit! <laughs> This way. Attention. Satellite rocket silo. Reports status green for launch. Can I please? Excuse me, can I get off? Jeez. Seriously. Was I meant to do something else back there? Was I meant to like actually launch it out of the way? Is it much of an upgrade from the one that you had, Mika? Or No, nope, I can't can't go back anyway, so that's fine. Yeah, tells you it breaks so easily. Um, just quite mad. I've I've always I've often had the view though, like the last few years, that considering how like soon like the advancements we have in technology, I consider like phones and everything and most technologies to be getting bigger, which I find absolutely bizarre. You'd think in this day and age, technology would be getting smaller, not bigger. But I think with phones and things these days, they just they just try and cram so much into the phones. They they really don't have like a um, they kind of really don't have a a choice but to make them so big. Um, it's kind of a downgrade in numbers. Okay. 
I'm guessing there's not really that much difference though if it's only like one version different. Okay, so we're back here. Let's get back on our trusty steed. And away we go. I'll stop doing that man. That was just terrible. I didn't even see the guy stood there shooting at me. <laughs> Do you know what? Let's mount the 50 cal. Haha! <laughs> No chance. <laughs> yeah, I've never been too good at. Um, I always find though, with, with like I I, str I I struggled the same when I played Counter Strike, and I think what it is because I've spent so many years playing Call of Duty. I'm so used to like aiming down sights, I'm not just used to firing like this. Whenever I play COD, I'm always ADSing. I'm not kind of used to, like, just pointing my reticle, if that makes sense. I know it shouldn't really make much difference, but I kind of feel it does. You should have seen me trying to play Counter-Strike, like, seriously. I will pay. I will pay, apparently. Plus as well, Aaron, I've always sort of played COD on console with a controller, so the only sort of real FPS shooter I've played on keyboard and mouse was Unreal Tournament back in the day, 2004. So it's been a while. And yes, I do realise it sounds like I'm just making a, a barrel load of excuses. I think I may have I may have actually played a, a Delta Force back in the day as well, but. So why did I shoot that off there if I can't go through? Uh, okay. Maybe I can go this way. Quake. Um, I don't think I played... I, I may have played it like occasionally. Um, but I was, I've, I've always been a console guy. I've never really been, I was never really a, a PC guy. 
I mean, I don't think PC gaming wasn't really as big though. You gotta remember when I was a kid, way back when Meek will probably back me up on this. I mean, there was things like Wolfenstein. About to hit the fan again. And as you can tell, I've got no freaking sense of like ducking, covering. I'm all about charging in me. Charging as fast as you can. I always go SMG classes so I can run and gun. Oh, where am I actually being shot from? Let's just chill out a minute. Think about this. Did you really need to throw a grenade so close to me? Seriously, how close do I need to be with a shotgun for you to die? Dead. Oh, run away! <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, quite an intense part, this. Definitely. Oh, it saved me here. Great. I have even less health than I, th I wanted. Let's go this way this time. I know, right? Although it's not really a rocket, though, is it? Isn't it a? Um, isn't it a satellite? So would it still go up? I suppose. Still got all the rocket fuel and everything in it, right? So I guess it still would go up like a bottle of pop, so to speak. All right. Well, the running gun approach definitely worked that time. Let's just mop up anything else left to be had here. I don't think there is much. Yeah, I haven't seen any of it, Mika, to be fair. So I gotta go in here and just wreak havoc, right? It's um I don't know much about rockets, but yeah, no, that would make sense too, Sven, definitely. James Bond all over again there, isn't it? <laughs> Let's face it. Let's be honest. The amount of time James Bond should have um, died or blown stuff up. To be talking about James Bond, does is it just me or does this remind does this remind anybody of the um, the Golden Eye control room? If you've seen that film, I know it's quite an old film now. It reminds me just of the Golden Eye control room. 
yeah, no, that's appreciated me. I'm sure there's people here who, who do want to play it and experience it for themselves. Do we press the button? Satellite launch system activated. Twenty seconds remaining. Watch it. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Watch us go. Oh man. That is something. If I remember in the original as well, that rocket goes really high in the map. Doesn't look like it goes as high. I just, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just imagining things. I always seem to think that when that was, when that went off in the original, um, it like you could see it going for like ages and ages and ages. Yeah, that's fair enough. Fair. Enough. I mean, I think that's. Um, I think a lot, a lot of people have that view about a lot of games, don't they? You know, it's definitely even uh, as much uh, as as much as we live in a day and age of like um, streaming and things, and it's easy for people to be uh, to spoil games uh, and have games spoil. It is definitely possible not to have not to spoil things for yourself. I know when I was um, before I played Resident Evil Two, I I hadn't seen it, and it, the game had been out nearly a year by the time I got around to playing it. And I managed to play that completely spoilers free, which I'm really glad I did because it was an absolutely fantastic game um, to experience for sure. Looks like we're going this way. Oh, I see head crabs. Two for one. Another one? Okay. Guessing we're gonna go down there, but let's uh, explore a little first. We're going down there, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean that—that that is the other thing with Alex, I suppose, is that uh, not everybody is gonna have the capability to play it. Which kind of sucks a little bit because you know there is a massive fan base behind Half Life Portal, and uh, so it kind of isolates people. Some, I guess you could say, isolates the fan base from who can actually play it and experience it for themselves. Where do you come from? Is there any story VR game people should play it for themselves instead of watching because it gives you three? Yeah, that, that's the, that's the difference. That is the difference. But it's still, it's still quite an, uh, a, a way of isolating, um, like the fans kind of thing, and restricts who is and who isn't able to to watch and play the game. Where does that come from? That's one of those um, things, isn't it? Though I can't see where it is. So like one of those. I don't. I don't. I, again, I, I don't know the terminology for all of the enemies and, and what they call one of those things that hangs from the ceiling. Yeah, there's one there. Don't know what I was getting the sound effect for it though. Where I was stood.
barnacles. Okay. Thanks, seems to be Oh, there is one. There. Okay, that would probably explain that noise. And why I was hearing it. Am I feeling brave enough to try and jump on that to go in? I don't think I need to go get that though, to be fair. It's big risk for a little reward looking at my health at the moment, so. This is quite a fancy train, isn't it? It's got 60 kilometers an hour. rooms, I wonder. Doesn't look like it. Throw a grenade? No, please don't. It might hurt me. Stuck here for so long. <laughs> Fight grenade with grenade. Okay. Oh no, he's not dead. So how am I going to progress here? I need to go up. Do I not? Ah. Maybe this is how we go up. Could have been, but the ladder just broke, which sucks. So, let's go go back then. Or at least, like, get out the water or something. Okay, okay. So I think I gotta do something to this. What do I do with that then? That's the question. Okay, so it's starting to, it's restricting my options anyway of what I can and can't do. Which is something I guess. Just double check. And I got my flashlight. And I guess I've got to do something with this. raise this up, right? Don't 
That would kind of make sense. What's my pick PC? Um, I just have a proprietary Dell machine. Um, ah, I got it. Yeah, mine's just a, a proprietary Dell machine, and I've just um, upgraded my PSU and um, I upgraded the PSU and the graphics card. But other than that, it's just a stock Dell machine with an i7. Oh, sorry, tell I I have also added in some extra RAM as well. I'm on twenty. I've got twenty-four gigs of RAM in this as well, so. I want to say I. Um, it's actually a, it's actually my work PC. So um, my boss um, upgraded for me. Uh, I bought the graphics card and the PSU, but um, enough to tie that up. I've been thinking about like laptop but um, I don't know what laptop I would really get and I don't know that I would really have enough use for a laptop. I always fancied, I always wanted a laptop for like when I travel around for work. Um, but I mean, if I'm. If I'm completely honest, um, I don't really think. I don't really like travel around enough or a lot to kind of warrant having a laptop. I mean, I could also use it for my DJ stuff as well. But I mean, I've got a I've got a Windows tablet, so I've got Windows 10 on a tablet anyway, which kind of acts as a good kind of. Where are these guys? It acts as kind of like a good kind of stopgap for what I need without having a, the laptop. So. Going this way. Go through here. No, go through there. I guess. But yeah, when I'm traveling about, normally my, my tablet is good enough for me to do what I need to do. And the added bonus of it being a Windows tablet as well allows me to do quite a lot of other things that I wouldn't normally be able to do with like a, an Android or an iOS tablet. So. Whoa, I turned that the wrong way. Oh, maybe I didn't. Maybe that's what I was meant to do. Yeah, this isn't the way I thought I was going to have to go. Far from it. Yeah, I mean, I had a, I had a laptop while I was going through university. Definitely helps. I've, I remember I've just sat, in, I've sat myself in lecture theatres more than one occasion. Exactly the same thing, Mika. You get the feeling you just wasted your grenades on an enemy you can't actually kill. Also, do I need to go in the shark cage? I really hope not.
I'm just the way I came. Oh my giddy fucking god. Uh, help. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I am so freaking dead. Alright, I'm not dead. I'm not dead, but I don't know how. But I was just about to say, I'm sure now I remember this from the original. This is where we get the crossbow. All right. Not sure how I survived, but I survived. <laughs> oh my God, I need to took the old one she had and refurbished it, cleaned it up, installed a new HD design, and uh, luckily to use it. It's really pulled out, an older hard drive for PC, put in the laptop and uninstalled Ubuntu. Yeah, I used to do that um, when I was using laptops a lot, Aaron, to be fair. I would chop and change between the two. I'm actually using um, some stuff I'm quote-unquote learning in my spare time. Um, I'm actually using uh, Kali Linux for... So I'm actually um, trying to learn like some ethical hacking stuff and just like some security kind of stuff, penetration testing, and different bits and pieces. And I've saved because I think I can take this guy out. Can't I shoot this? Yeah, I was going to say, I'm sure I could shoot that. Under the water. Alas, I was correct. I'm actually learning quite a lot of new stuff for work at the minute, actually. So I'm going learning like about some penetration testing I'm learning all about like new reporting tools and stuff so yeah I do feel like this year I've been really I've had a really productive year I'm really sort of happy at the minute of what I've learned and what new things I've done so far this year just turn back up to here well I think it's rather stimulating don't you <sighs> for a minute there, I thought you were done for. You didn't come and help me though, now did you? that beast killed, you can continue forward. Once through the flooded portion of the facility, you will practically be upon the Lambda Lab's doorstep. C++. Yeah, that was like my one of my biggest things, Aaron. I, I did C++ for... So when I left school at 17, so like 18 years ago when I went to college, um, I started using C++. And then at university, C++ is like the core, the core language throughout all your years at university. Um, and I never really understood at the time why it would be useful, like a, a command prompt... Um, a command prompt almost um, development language what what use would it be but it's such a powerful language such a powerful language I really kind of wish that I could get back into it but then I just don't have any desire or any need to get back into C++ at the minute
You getting into Python? Yeah, I'm. I'm also doing Python as well at the minute. Um, part of a lot of the penetration stuff here, uh, testing that I'm doing. Um, a lot of the tutorials and examples are, are revolving around writing scripts in Python. So I've been doing that, and I know Teamspin um, has often said a couple of times about. I've got my little corner. Um, he's often said about um, what a, a good language Python is. I'm sure the uh, the the B stuff is Python as well, isn't it? Pretty sure. What am I doing here then? Am I jumping into the cage? Is that the idea here? Maybe not. Yeah. All of it is Python. I know I've dabbled on bits and pieces before and um, I know Teams Ben has mentioned a few bits and pieces on Discord about it to me, so Python seems a really like simple yet powerful language. But the way um, you write everything seems really like it's a lot simpler than simpler than a lot of languages, which isn't a bad thing. So I guess I'm going this way because that guy. Didn't really give us anything, did he? So we'll go this way. But I mean, I, I've always had that view of a lot of programming languages, if I'm completely honest. is like, as long as you know what to do, um, a, lot of, a lot of language writing is just about understanding how to... Understanding how to express that on... In the right syntax so it's almost like learning like to speak a language it almost isn't it oh crap i'm stuck in a box get wrecked how did he hit me i completely moved around him VB.net is what I original. That was again one of my first programming languages, and VB.net is. Um, I don't know. I've I kind of don't like unstructured languages where you don't have to define uh, variables and stuff. I much prefer to have to define. Have I got something in here with me? I like a structured language. I'm, I'm not a fan of, of languages where you don't kind of define variables, so you can just kind of use them. I know you can do that in VB, but you don't actually have to. Do I go through this gap here? But I really like the. Um oh, there we go. There it is. Oh. Only a minor laceration detected. I think that was quite a major one, if I'm completely honest. Suit. Um. I really like the way, like the 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 way and C sharp has been going. Their improvements on like the way you write the scripts and stuff over the last few years has been fantastic. They're making everything a lot easier and a lot quicker to write, which I really really like.
Can I not go back for those? It's not. Yeah, I'm a massive fan though, of, like I was going like saying, like of how they've completely changed the whole I, I love the shorthand variables where you now no longer have to oh crap. I love that you no longer have to define strongly typed variables in C sharp. Um Using vars just uh, to define your variables is so much easier. I'm falling in love with like the lambda syntax as well. Uh, using link to sort co collection and arrays and stuff. There's just so much in C sharp now compared to when I started. That makes writing it so much easier. It's just fantastic, in my opinion. Anyway. Oh boy, this reminds me of Portal. Oh dear. And we're down. It's like the lambdas for like if statements as well. It's just it just saves you so much time writing if statements. Using the um, question mark colon notation. Oh, what was that? Head crab? That was the head crab. Did he jump down? There's nothing worse though when like in C sharp when you was like declaring a variable and you were doing like string my string equals new string and that's a bad example. But it's like the amount of times you have to write like new and stuff. That's the one thing I like. They've they've really like made it a lot simpler to declare variables, which saves so much time. It's like I know I'm doing I know I'm using a string, but why make me type it twice? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Aaron. The um the the shorthand um if so you, I've I've got I get rid of so many if statements in my code now. So many lines of code have gone because I can use that shorthand notation. It's great. It's like when you re you have a function which is just like literally like a return function. You don't like no you no longer need. It, there's nothing wrong with um, if you've got like a single line function, you can use the um, you no longer need to like put it around curly braces and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I do do reading about static and very uh, static and member and member variables and stuff though, Aaron, because quite a lot of the time you don't necessarily need member classes. Yo, Sabers, what's going on, buddy? 
Welcome along to stream. Hope you're well. Thank you very much for the bit. Team has been tracking your progress with the Black Mesa security system. Unfortunately, so has the military. That suit of yours is full of tracking devices. Still, it's better than going naked in this place. Naked. It's cold in there, so you'll have to hurry. It could sap your suit power in a matter of moments. If you're bent on reaching the Lambda complex, then you'll want to keep to the older industrial areas where the security system is full of holes. All right. It's worked for me so far. You're not coming in? Give them what for, Freeman. Give them what for, Freeman. messing around in there well thank you very much sabers f sharp yeah I've, I've heard of it um f sharp and uh, and they're also j sharp as well i've not looked at them as to what they entail or anything though i couldn't tell you what about f sharp or j sharp Yeah, a lot of the way coding is is just about storing, uh, like being able to do things in, in a logical and, a, and an effective manner, Mika. Definitely. Let's look top here. It's a functional programming language. Yeah, I don't really, I mean... I, I'm quite old school, so I mean, I don't know a lot about like the the new, newer kind of languages. So I don't really know things like uh, I don't know a lot about like Ruby and things like Ruby on Rails and all those sorts of newer operating systems, uh, operating systems programming languages. I know a lot, there's a lot of kind of, um, a, a lot of programming languages are, are geared up for like web based stuff though these days, aren't they? I suppose. And um, I know a lot of the Microsoft Azure stuff, you, there's like, um, what's it called? Um, not serverless computing. Called now. I can't remember where I was going on that tangent. It first types for everything, but it's still fully compiled, so you only need to declare types. <laughs> I do need to like look. At the, my my biggest thing I really need to get my head around a lot more is um, like Ajax computing with web stuff. And asynchronous programming. Um, I'm kind of doing a bit of it at the moment with the Discord bot I'm working on. That's all asynchronous calls and stuff. Uh, and I get like the the functionality and, and of how it all works and what it all's all doing. It's just the implementation where I kind of fall down a bit. Higher order functions instead of loops, recursions, functions passing everywhere, pure functions of very uh, yeah. I got a message for you. Make sure you don't Oh no. Wait a minute. Am I coming up to like the like the the, the ninja kind of people air at the bit? Man, I hated this bit in the original. I hated it.
because they were just I remember in the original they just popping up everywhere yeah my just just my like the whole thing with the the asynchronous programming though is more that um because I've never really it's just about me training myself um when and where to use it and how to use it properly i've used it with things i've used it in um, php for like some map stuff before with google maps um and i say i'm using it with the discord bot at the minute but it's just like fully understanding it i don't think it's that difficult to be fair because especially with c sharp it's just instead of using um your like voids as, as like a, a function um in your function as the, the function return type you use um tasks instead and every async operation is a task as opposed to like a a method that has to be waited for so i, I kind of get how it all works um i just need to think more practically how i can use it more um just give me a sec guys i want to go and grab a quick drink and i will be right back so let's jump into this section which I'm really not looking forward to. Probably being shot at, which is a good start. There's a chopper. Get to the chopper. Press things and stuff. Who's attacking me? Oh, they are there. Yeah, man. They're just like sneaky ninjas, man. Um, I've uploaded the first two parts. I've just not... I need to... I ain't got a weapon out. Alright, well, did I get him? Uh, I've just not. I need to sort out thumbnails and things, so they will be coming very, very soon. Alright, these aren't too bad at the minute. Probably a good idea not to stand in the explosive barrels, though. somewhere. Oh, Do we get them all? That's the big question. Oh, we're halfway there. Wow! Living on a prayer. How's that? You like that? Be a bit Bon Jovi. Oh, please do it. I need to go through my clips. I need to make a new break video soon. For sure. Is there anything to be had here, or is this all just rubbish now? like Conklands beat you to it, Aaron. <laughs> it's the fastest clipper in the West. Yeah. Can I take the can I take the chopper? Yeah, just game over, I win. family here, Mika. We're a full-blown Pepsi family right here. Oh, it's, it's, we're going to have a clip-off now. In the red corner, Aaron! Conan. Con Clan. 
Who can make the best clip? You decide. Text now to 81199. If you think Conclan is your winner, text vote Conclan. If your vote goes to Errand, text vote Errand. Lines will close at the end of the show. Good luck. <laughs> Oh, where am I actually going here? Up here? In here? I did this now. Hmm. Ah, okay. There's the stuff here that I didn't see before. That could help. We have opened door number one. Probably door number two as well. Nope. I don't know why I like break all these boxes open. They don't um Oh man! I, I, I done did got set up. We got him. I remember getting to this point in the original and I was like, damn, all that hard work and all those We're weapons I earned. And now they're just We're all taken down. away. Five and a half hours more. Remind me, is Zen the last part of the game? Or is there more after Zen? I can't remember. Zen's the last. Where's my crowbar? Stress ray. It's, like, it's, it's like a modern day stress ball, Minka. There's nothing in the boxes for me. That's unfortunate. Field though of all them, jeez. Those box parts, man. Alright, so up we go. So what happened to these guys? Are these the guys that took me? Science confirmed. There's Black Crow. Everything's going down to shoot. Okay. You sent me a message? You sent me a message where I can't remember. Why'd you all send me a message? 
boy. Oh, rip. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You really like magnet onto like ladders sometimes, even when you're um, not pressing on bits and pieces. Um. I'll uh, I'll take a look at that once I've uh, once I'm done with the stream, Conklin. I want to go. Can I stop myself? Oh, I remember this. This area. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> in the water. No. I thought they looked a bit like there was like a secret a secret shady part of the place to go. Anything uh, hiding up here? Oh. Alright. So we're on operation. Let's get our weapons back right now. Let's find alternate weapons at least. It's just that I had to like drain that first before I could uh, go through here. Knock the head crab slayer. I wanna, that almost feels like it should be a usable switch. I've felt that like the last couple of those boxes that I've come across, especially those ones in the underground area. Hey, where'd you go, buddy? Turn the gas off, I guess. We've got radiation around here, so gotta be careful for that, I guess. Yo, messy boys, uh, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome along. As we're gonna get uh, absolutely decimated there because we're not really paying attention and looking to where we're meant to be going. Thank you though very much for the follow, I appreciate it. Hey, we got we got ourselves a gun. Hoorah. Hmm. Oh this bit seems familiar. It's it's mad how I've only like played through Half Life once. Yeah, these areas are so familiar. I would love to be able to do like a crowbar only run. That'd be awesome. I don't think I'd be able to do it, but it would be awesome.
Definitely not good enough at the game for a crowbar only. This place is an annoying maze. Yeah. Oh, so I can't go that way. We can go back. Uh, familiar. I just just seem to remember this this seg section, Aaron. More than anything. There we go. That wasn't so bad. That's where I came from. I was about to say, kind of getting this broken pipe here, and then realized actually that's where I just come from. So I don't think we need to go in there. way so I guess we're gonna go this way instead what if Crow Freeman keeps crowbar as a pillar we'll put it past him the man's attached to his crowbar like a sort of like free spray I mean, this is a mistake wasn't it that very much this was a good idea well that door's locked I bet he's. I bet he's even sponsored by the people who make the crowbars. He goes down the hardware store and like, "Hey, Gordon, what's going on? Have a crowbar." Oh boy! Don't tell me I got to do what I think I got to do here. Oh jeez. to go into some radiation. Where do I go from here? Across here? Oh, I think I was meant to... Ha. Huh. Right into music mode again. Though. I was thinking about um, Team Spencer about he has like uh... okay. Not entirely sure what happened there, but okay. Yeah, I was thinking of um, the Loonies. Um, I got five on it. Featuring Gordon Freeman. I got five of them. Was the roof?
I'll not get stuck on the door frame. Thank you. This was probably the way I was meant to go. Yeah, that's good. Can I press buttons? I'd really like to press buttons. crowbar which is used <laughs> I doubt it but there's probably like a lot of um, I don't know actually. whoa that was explosive I go this way I can just imagine that there's quite a few been made in like the terms of uh, in, like the the cosplay kind of situation I jump across there here. I can. I assume that was the way I was meant to go. Can't be sure. I mean, yeah, am I still going the right way? Oh, there's one of those things in there. That's not good given the weapons I have at the minute. Having a little munch on the scientist. It's kind of odd to see, though, really, that is, because um, you don't really see a lot of the aliens, like, eating people. It's kind of a bit out of place. In my opinion. Back here. Um. Okay. So how do I get over to there exactly? What did I miss? This is the maze that Team Spen spoke of. Actually, I suppose that this is... Yeah, okay. I don't think I need to go this way because... Thinking out loud. This team spend just alluded to. That point is to, uh, so you don't have to do this bit again. So I guess I have to go back the other direction at the minute. I guess I've missed something over there. could get onto there. I don't think it serves me any purpose. Did I miss something down here? No. Yeah, I think this just serves as a bit of a shortcut. 
back to here. Oh, is that window open? Is that window got glass in it? Did I miss that? a little more there. Save me for completely not really backtracking. Wasting a load of time. Save this side of the uh, loading barrier as well. Still quite interested though, like those guards obviously put me in the trash compactor. Who was it that, um, does it look like those guards have been killed, right? So, who's behind the scenes helping me out? I wonder. Clearly, yeah, definitely. How could I be so dumb? Forget about a rat man. How did I not take any fall damage? to turn the pipes here? Do I just go in the water? I think it's the latter. Nice. That's death. Oh jeez. I bet you I knew that was coming. There's that full damage. So the big question is Okay. I was just about to say, the big question was going to be, how many times can I do that in a row? Thankfully the answer was one. And I didn't make myself look too much of an idiot. the free man let's face it free man As much as I would love to, I almost think like my 
DJ festival days are long gone errand. I don't know. I would. I would like to. Um, I just don't think at the. It's like the. I don't think. At the moment, it's something I could do, realistically. Oh boy. I don't want to do this. What have I done? I need to go back to that other room. Can I go back to that other room? Weren't they? What was? Wasn't that? There's been a portal movie rumor before though, hasn't there? Got the factual target. Yeah, hasn't there been like rumors in the past of like Portal movie? I know there's like a lot of video games that have had the rumors and um, whatnot, and that there was going to be like different movies for different games. My, I, I don't know. I personally, I don't know that I would like to see um, a movie for Portal or Half Life, mainly because um, I think sometimes movies can ruin the games. Because when, I think as, as a game, you kind of expect it to be a, a certain way and it to play out a certain way. And a lot of the time in the movies, that's not what happens. And they're so dumb. Does that make sense? Yeah. So many games though in like the past have been rumoured to be having like a movie. Minecraft was one for example. The Minecraft movie, nothing ever came of that. That was meant to be out years ago. Instead we got Minecraft story mode. Which I mean don't get me wrong, I mean Minecraft story mode is a pretty good game. Oh, could I just walk through here this whole time? Huh. <laughs> it's still coming, is it, Conclan? It was meant to be out years ago, and everything just sort of... All the like news and information about it just seemed to go dead. I didn't know if that it was still being thought about, slash, in production kind of thing. I mean, I don't know, I don't know how it would play out, though. Would it play out something similar to, like, the story mode game, or... Do you think it would have its own story? March 4th, 2020. Okay. Interesting. Also, I'm really short on ammo here. Yes, sorry, if you said that, uh, Mika, I do miss, I do apologize if I missed that part of your comment, but yeah, no, I totally agree. Um, movies have a big, big tendency to spoil games. Especially when you, you know, you're a diehard fan of a franchise. Did I not just like sprint past there enough? I guess not. Well, luckily, 
There was a safe spot there. What? I call BS. Yeah, uh, a, 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 a book is never as good a movie, but then I th I've always I've always been of like the the belief about that that you're not telling me that that's coming down. I'm sorry. Also, epic music. Um, yeah, but the um, I think the problem is when you go from a book to a movie. A book could be like hundreds and hundreds of pages long. A movie you have to cram into quite a short space of time, and you're not always able to. Maybe I need to crouch. Um, the a movie has to cram it into a certain amount of time, um, so they don't always get a chance to um, elaborate enough on the story and go into as much detail as you can get into a book. That's why it's always better, I think, to um, read the book. As a, not that I'm a, I'm a book reader, but I am under the impression about reading a book is definitely, definitely better than, uh, a bit of a point of theory, um, than, than movies. But you know that's just part and parcel of, of the, the different types of media. You know, they, I think they tried to combat it a bit with Harry Potter, and they split like the last book of Harry Potter into two, into two um, movies. I get crashing. It's definitely the way to go. Thanks, Team Spin. I'm with her. Save. drop down here but oh hello explosives can I even go back that way? Huh. Well, I just wasted the bullet. Yes, very random. It's kind of they've kind of put that music in. And it kind of like seems like they're hyping like uh, some events up, something that's going to happen, but then nothing happens. So it definitely seems quite random that music. That's quite you know battle kind of intense, get ready to rumble kind of. Let's get ready to rumble! In the red corner we have Gordon. I'm going to do that and jump from here. Yeah. I don't even know that they need anything, to be fair, because there's quite a bit of ambience going on anyway. With, like, all the, the sounds and things, machines and boxes and things breaking in the background. So, I don't really know that they need anything else. Shotgun ammo? I think I did. Where to now, though? Just trying to think. Let's go round again. 
That does not look very friendly. So let's jump off there and jump there. Wow. I am glad they put... I am so glad they put water there. Jeez. I mean, did he kind of look, look alive a moment ago? I went through that door. I swear down, he looked like he'd just been moving. Alright, that takes me back all the way back to here. Alright. The uh, thing with books is that you imagine the characters to be certain personalities and you fill the gap. Yeah, when well, you see a movie. It's yeah, I, I can totally relate to that. Cause as much as as much as like you, you get the, the movies on the books, it's always like the directors and the producers and their their imagination of it rather than potentially what you, you imagine everything to be. Does that make sense? I think so. Oh boy, back up. Back it up. You dead. What's it going the right way? Oh, so I'm all the way back here. Okay. That's where I got rid of that bomb. Okay. So we can jump off here. Does this lead me to anywhere different? I don't think it does. That just leads me back to there. And there's nothing going on there. It's okay. I'm sure that this is the right way then for now. Do I have to go back through the incinerator place? I guess I do. That's the way I came before. Jump onto here. Fire. Da, da, da. I'm going to off here this time. Save. So I went across there last time. So I guess I'm going to go this way. Oh. Can we go around here? I think I want to be in there. I think. Yeah, so this is where I got to before. <laughs> I did the same thing again. Oh, jeez. Alright. Take two. Let's try that again. Okay. I feel like this game they give you a lot of leeway for like jumping. I think. I feel. What's down here? Can I? I guess that's just like a dead end, right? Yep, that's uh, that's a dead end. So I have to go this way. Yeah, 
this way. Then we go over here. So we don't pin the big meat grinder. Alright. This is like freaking elevator central. So after they've ground everything out and they still don't want everything that's left, they just radioact it. Radioactive, what? Oh, wow, good English. Can I squeeze through here without being grabbed? I can. Excellent. I must be getting close to getting the shotgun. Because they are starting to give me some nice... Shotgun ammo. Have you made it to Lambda? Did Lambda contract? I don't, I don't know how far I am from the Lam Lamba Lambda complex. Who knows? Turn off the power. Again, the death animation of these things is just weird. Very weird. They just kind of, sometimes they look like they're still alive, and it's very confusing. I have to say. there. I can go across here. Hey, hand grenades. Oh man. We're on questionable ethics. There's been numerous times though where them like enemies have died and they just kind of look like they're still alive. They just sort of... It's almost like they're going to like a default pose. Also, I can't jump up here. Oh, I can just do that, though. It saves a lot of hassle. Can I climb on this pipe all the way around? Three more chapters before Zen. Okay. I'm on the pipes. I'm on the pipes. Let's walk around on the pipes, please. So that fence looks a little bit... Um, Shocking, to say the least. Uh. Excellent. some phony TVs. God love me some phony. Uh, can we not please? Killed him. 
which is good. I either killed him or I made him stronger. You know what they say. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, so. Some interesting stuff. With like the, the whole like update and everything in these graphics kind of get a massive Resident Evil feel from this sort of area, like the lab section of Resident Evil. Definitely. seats. <laughs> Foreign head crabs. <laughs> What's the whole danger thing about? Oh. Emergency Tesla discharge. I haven't touched the horse ones. I've touched ones that have been like around the edge of like farmers' fields to stop rabbits and stuff. I love that little sound effect. Fire them at there all day. But alas, I won't. Um. Come at me, crabs. Uh, don't come at me, please. No, come at me, I got a crossbow. <laughs> I'm ready to party. The snarks? Hey, I see you, G. I see you. Be a bit of character building. Give me a little touch. What's the worst that can happen? Right? What's the worst that could happen? McLean. Is that John's? John's locker? Ryman. Not much longer around, if I'm honest tonight. I'm gonna be done pretty soon. Hey, we got we, we got live ones. H 
Hey! Alright, it's end stream. That's it. Stream's complete. We found the pizza. We are the champion. Let's see some pizza in chat, man. Let's see. So we, have we got a pizza in chat? Is there a pizza in chat? There's got to be a pizza emote, right? Surely. Everyone loves pizza. That's not pizza, that's Dorito. There's no pizza remote on Twitch. That's disappointing. Windows got to have a pizza remote, right? Yeah, pizza. Pizza. We found the pizza. Maybe this is the point where we stop. I mean, these these guys are obviously clearly killed for the pizza but uh all right i think I, th I think this is where we stop tonight we uh we, we just admire this pizza pizza no no what have i done oh, it's all right it's, it's all right it's all right No, it's not alright. Check my achievements. Alright, let's have a quick look. <laughs> Sorry, Mika. Um... What am I looking for? Uh, is it the one that I haven't got with it to do with the pizza? That's a lot of achievements, damn. Unless it's a hidden achievement, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything on the um I'm not seeing anything on the Oh, we've picked it up. We've picked it up. Right, we we need to go and uh make room for the pizza. Please. Alright. My life is complete. It ain't no I'm, good up there. It's all sealed off. I bring you pizza. The only way out would be to find someone with a scanner expert who can open the door. Can I? I know this is sacrilege, but that is that like a burrito? What I have to do with the pizza, uh, Team Spen? I know we started off doing uh, Conclan's. Uh, we started off doing Conclan's bin quest, taking the bin everywhere with us. Damn, we need to take the pizza everywhere with us now. Wherever we go, we must take the pizza. Wherever we may go, we must take the pizza. I need to take the pizza all the way to the end of Zen. I would love to. That's a big ass box, seriously. Companion pizza. You want some pizza? Lead the way, sir. Come, protect my pizza. We have to protect my pizza.
There's a broken achievement. The portal never explodes. Good job. Are you, are you still here? Let me get out of your way. No, no. You just need to protect the pizza. Yeah. Just protect the pizza. That's all we need to do. Anyway, guys, I think that is probably a good time to wrap it up for tonight. Um, so tomorrow night we will continue on protecting this pizza. Um, seeing how far we can take it and uh, also trying to make our way to Zen. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. I really appreciate the support. Back tomorrow night, like I said, to continue on our journey. But until then, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.